Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Saturday in the 24th week of Ordinary Time. So let us begin, as we always do, by making the sign of the cross together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, Jesus used this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. He sowed, as he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and it was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some seeds fell on rock, and when it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell amongst thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell into rich soil, and grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. The disciples asked him what this parable might mean. And he said, The mysteries of the kingdom of God are revealed to you. For the rest, there are only parables, so that they may see but not perceive, listen but not understand. This then is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. Those on the edge of the path are people who have heard it. And then the devil comes and carries away the word from their hearts in case they should believe and be saved. Those on the rock are people who, when they first hear it, welcome the word with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of trial, they give up. As for the part that fell into the thorns, this is the people who have heard, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the worries and riches and pleasures of life and do not reach maturity. As for the part in the rich soil, this is the people with a noble and generous heart who have heard the word and take it to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. Following the same order as the Gospel of Mark, Luke now comes to the group of parables about the kingdom. The only one he uses, though, is this one, the parable of the sower. For Luke uses parables not so much to explain what the kingdom is like, but to reflect on individual virtues and vices. Luke's version of the sower is a little shorter, suggesting that he's not interested in the agricultural details and other distractions. Luke simply concentrates more on the dispositions of those who receive the seed, of those who receive the word of God. At the very beginning of the explanation of the parable and at the end, we hear the same word being used, and that is the word heart. At the beginning of the explanation of the parable, when the word fails to be accepted, the word is taken from the heart. Then at the end of the explanation, when those of noble and generous heart hold fast and yield a harvest through their perseverance. So again, it is the heart that counts. It is the heart that yields the virtue which Luke treasures elsewhere. 
and that is the virtue of perseverance. For our reflection today, we might reflect on our own lives and ask ourselves, how do I persevere in prayer? Is perseverance a virtue in my life? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. I look forward to seeing you on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend. As you may have noticed during this week, I've been wearing a certain item of clothing. I hope I'm not putting the kiss of death on my team this weekend, but I'll simply conclude by saying, go Cowboys. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.